Hi guys and welcome to Prison Architect. It's a game by Introversion. I keep picking it up ever since I bought it, play it every now and then. It's awesome actually. And I find it kind of funny, ironic that a cop is playing Prison Architect. But anyways, I'm having huge fun with it. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is Prison Architect. I bought it on Steam. Uh, it's a really cool game, uh, you design your own prison and you get prisoners in and they try to escape and you keep them busy, sorta. And my goal in this game is to get a large enough prison. It's still an alpha as you can see here below, but they have monthly updates in which they usually add stuff. Next month they'll be bug fixing and uh, let's create a new prison. I'm going for a large one. As I said, I want as many prisoners as I can have because I actually never did that. I never, uh, in the old days when you went over 300 or so, it became very laggy. So they fixed that up a bit and I think you should be able to get like maybe a thousand prisoners. So that's why we're starting large. Now the first thing I did, I paused the game. And the reason I paused the game is, if you zoom out, you can use mouse or Q and E, you'll notice that our delivery and garbage rooms are not centered. So, we're gonna go to planning. And this is really the most awesome feature of the entire game. I'm gonna plan out 50. Because you can actually just draw. And it shows just how much it draws. Ooh, perfect. This is the middle. This is the center of my map. So I'll delete that. I do that with my right, ma right mouse button and then just drag it. And now I want to clear these rooms. So I go to rooms. Again, right mouse button just clears it. And we're gonna place them because those workmen that are coming need a delivery area to get off from the bus or truck. So that's more like it. Let them come. And another thing I need to do in the beginning is, as you can see here, there's eight prisoners arriving. I got nothing. We're gonna close it for now. First we're gonna build some stuff. Now again with the drawing. Uh, let's see. If I go like that. Yeah. Because the first thing I need to do is close off the back of my prison and the front of the prison. So I'm gonna go to materials and as you can see you got all your tabs here. The room, objects, the staff you can hire, your utilities, emergency, things you haven't unlocked yet. But for now we're going to materials and if you look, hover over these you'll notice they cost money. The fence does not cost money. So this is perfect to just lay down at the beginning of your prison. And if you don't make doors in it, they have to dig underneath it. So if you make the prison cells uh, far enough, they won't escape that easy. And as we build on our prison, we will make it more... Uh, how do you say? Uh, more efficient, more... I want to use this. This is perimeter wall. This is the best wall there is. It has foundation and everything. They cannot uh, dig underneath. But as you can see, it costs 200 per square. So that's nuts. And I'm seeing that there are some trees in the way. So I'm giving them the order 
And when they're placing this fence, to also get rid of these trees. And they'll cut them into logs, and we can sell the logs for some extra start cash. Because cash is all this game is about. Cool. Well, as you can see, they've started already. That is so awesome. So, let us plan out a bit of our uh, prison. Now, I need to build some offices. And if you check on the rooms, and you go to office, you can see it needs a minimum of 4x4. Four four. So, you can make it larger, but you don't need to. And hey, this fits. And let's see. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five. What I'm planning here, not building, but planning, is... Um, <coughs> A staff room, some offices, and these will hold our utilities. And utilities are very important because without power and energy, without power and water, um, you're gonna get in trouble real fast. Prisoners will break out because I mean, cameras are not working, uh, guards cannot see them coming, so it will be a mess. So you always got to keep an eye out on your power supply. Now we'll make it uh, the same size here. But in here I'll do some uh, storage and exports. So all these rooms here up front are going to be um, staff rooms. Yep. And as you can see... They're slowly placing this fence. Oh, and another thing I want to do is, since I like things pretty, the sand also doesn't cost a thing. And since they won't easily be behind here anymore, I'm going to do this when I place my fence. So just going to make sure it looks pretty. It has no reason other than this. Just making sure... I like it. And the reason I pick sand is because the other materials cost money. Come on, here we go. And you'll see that when they place this, they'll also start placing uh, the sand behind it. At least they should. Yeah, there she goes. So, what else do we need? Well, we don't have to think up everything. Because if we take a look on here, this is our reports. This is sort of uh, the basic of your game. The menu you do everything from. You can uh, watch your staff from here and jump to them by hovering over. You can fire them. You can view your prisoners and they work in the same principle. If you have them and you hover over them, you see them on screen. The jobs that are cute. Well, there's a lot of sand and there's a lot of fence. As you can see. And right now the grants. The rest is still locked. So the first grant we want to click is basic detention center. Why? We have a nice amount of cash. But it will run out really, really fast. So we're going to click that. And it also gives us a list of stuff we need to build. So that's really cool. And I'm also going to click that one. You can have two grants at one time. So, two officers, a warden, and an accountant. Now, I have planned out... Where am I? 
here some room for offices, but they're still working on the fans and stuff. Now, they're going rather slow, so to speed it all up, I'm just going to press this button here and make it go faster. Now, my goal is to have as much outdoorsy as I can to limit costs, because foundation is extra money. So, cool, look at them go! Um, let's plan out some stuff. A holding cell. I never use them. I don't like putting tw 200 prisoners in one holding cell. I don't like putting two guys in one holding cell. I just make cells. So I will build one in my planned staff room just until I get the grant and then I'll delete it. So shower, yard, kitchen, canteen, uh, and we need to hire some stuff. So how about we make our first cell block? We plan it out somewhere here and then we can maybe make the showers uh, this way. So... Uh, the cell block won't be next to outside. Because that's something I want to avoid. So let's see. Oh, and another thing I forget. I need to add room for later when I want a kennel or an armory. So first I'll do that. And now I'll plan out some showers. And the showers, I just need three wide. Like this. This will be a shower room. <coughs> and I can make many more uh, next to it. Like that. Nice wide opening so they can enter everywhere. So, shower... Uh, let's see, how about we start with kitchen? That would be not bad to have the kitchen here. 15 wide, that should be wide enough, I think. I'm not sure. It also depends on the canteen, because in the canteen we need tables, and the tables are 8 long. No, this is by far not wide enough. Let us see. This is 8. And another 8. So it should be at least this one. How wide is this? This is 21. Oh wow. So now I'll delete all the stuff I drew. Like that. And let's make it fit. It looks good. And over here we'll do some cells. And is this wide enough, I wonder? Because a stove is too wide, then I need a sink that's free wide. And then I need... Ah, it fits. That's nice. Now, as you can see... I've got trees where I plan to build. Now, they will take them down if I lay down the foundation. But uh, until then, I can already give the order to just delete them. It will go faster. And I need a yard. I need a yard. Uh, let us see. Uh, where do I want the yard? So I've got a kitchen, I've got a big thing. How about a big yard here in the middle? That they have to run through. Ooh, I like it. Let's see. If we make it... What is this? This is nine. And we'll keep the 21. Because this is 21 as well. I don't know why it is. Just nah. Let's see. No, I do want it even. So, there we go. Nice big yard. I like it. So, as you can see, my workers are sorta 
complete with the entire fence around with the sand with the trees i ordered them to chop so what i'm gonna do now is order them to actually start building and the first thing i'm gonna do is place my utilities so you need a power station and you need a water pump station now these are very expensive it's a good thing you get uh, one of each when you start so i'm gonna lay cables around and on my power station i'm gonna add some capacitors capacitors not capacitors capacitors and those capacitors will uh, improve the output of your power station and you're gonna be needing a lot of power stations before you finish the game because it's 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 a lot it's a lot of power that a prison requires so i'm just gonna uh, place it over here so i make sure that everything here has power i'm gonna place it to here too because i want some metal detectors in my uh, prison opening because this will be the main entrance to our prison and we're gonna drag it out here because this will be our cell block now this is the kitchen kitchen needs power and the kitchen also needs some water so we need some pipes as you can see by this nice flowy animation that the water pump has gotten some power from the power station so it's functional so let's just lay down some pipe because we're gonna build a sink and the sink is gonna be needing some water now i built the large pipes uh, to carry the far ends and the small pipes to go into rooms mostly and I'm already gonna lay down a pipe there because I know I want my showers here so we got that going it's time to create some stuff and I also need a bit of power here, like that. This should do. Let's go to foundations. Now, as you can see, it says requires entrance. So you go to objects and I pick a staff door for this one because this one is gonna be the staff room. One there, one there, otherwise this one won't be accessible. And the offices can have regular doors. And what I'm seeing is I need to close this part off. And I'm going to use the perimeter wall, the very expensive perimeter wall. But I don't want my prisoners breaking through or whatever the parts that are built the parts that are done I want to use the, the good walls but as you can see it's 1350 for this little piece so imagine this entire prison that's nuts oh and what they did is they placed the lights already and the lights are according to their own grid now I don't like it because there are always in door openings and stuff and that's not what I like uh, I want to follow my own grid so what I'm gonna do instead of selecting each light and clicking it I'm just gonna do this mental object I'm gonna say those lights, those lights and I'll just place them like I want them now I need the same on the other side, so I'm going to pause the game for a bit. Again, this will be a staff room 
with exports and stuff like that. And when I unpause, they're gonna start building it. And I'm using the same brick wall to make walls in between so I can separate the rooms. Now, as you can see, the foundation for these two rooms are done. And these lights are installed, uh, are queued to be installed. And you can just right click to cancel that queue. And I'm pausing it. And there we go. And now I can just, as you can see, it's not even. And I like them to be sort of even in a room. So I'm just deleting those lights. And I'll place them myself again. And it did sneak in a light. Oh, there we go. Ooh, and look, it did not make this a wall and i'm sorry about the other save but since this is an alpha uh, stuff can happen to it so i always have my other save on and regularly save now we're gonna be making sure that as soon as we make this the storage and the exports they will start picking up the wood and placing it there. And we got an office. So now I can place my warden. And let's make the room work. And if you look at the room, it will always show you the requirements. So you need an office desk, a chair, a filing cabinet, and it's got it all lined up. It prefers a staff door, but I just use a regular door because these are 100 and these are 50. So we we got a warden. Now we gotta unlock finance through bureaucracy. This is something new we got, and I'm gonna select those. Now we need some more foundations. Whoa. How much is this? Ooh, it's a lot of money. Wow. And we need a door. And I'm gonna make this open later. But for now, I just want a door. Because it won't function without a door. Oh, I love watching them build. This is so much fun. And I don't even have any, any prisoners yet. At all. And I'm not sure I'm gonna get some prisoners in it before, before my time is over. So... And this is a truck that comes to uh, uh, get all the uh, wood they uh, they chop down here, and it's gonna other sell it for some extra ca cash. Now again with the lights, I don't like them like that. What I do want is to plan this out a bit better because I have no clue what I'm doing at the moment. Let's see, this is the opening. This would be the kitchen. Now we want some extra. Let's see, we want a two white path there. Then we want a table there. And we need some extra serving tables, plants. Okay, we want another open. Let us see. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think I might have made it too long or something. It's not fitting where I want it to fit. Let's see. I'll work it out. I don't care. I like how this is. So I'm gonna go to materials and I'm gonna say demolish the walls. Not that one. And objects is dismantle this door. Now back to materials and we're gonna create a brick wall so we close this off and we're gonna say that this is our kitchen and this is gonna be our canteen now it's really dark in there so let's get some uh, lights on we go and we need the other stuff to make the rooms work so I'm gonna place two serving tables and we need some tables with benches and as you can see as they place them the drawing disappears and in the kitchen we need a sink and we're gonna place it here because I place my water underneath there and we're gonna need a cooker uh, let's see and we're gonna need a fridge and I always place a bin for the trash and we want a door there So we got this taken care of. Now we need to plant some cells and stuff. Now I'm gonna full. I'm gonna full the grant by baking a temporary holding cell. So you basically just need a toilet. So I'm just gonna see it's right there. So we'll place a temporary toilet and a bench. That is enough. To make it a holding cell. And what else do we need? Oh, we need our yard. Now, I'm looking at this yard and I'm like, it's maybe not even large enough. So I might want it a bit larger. Something like this. And we'll make an opening there. And this is 14. And let us see, from the yard I'm gonna make some, um, what do you call them, solitary rooms. Now I don't need need them, but I'll need them pretty soon because every time they try to smuggle something or stuff like that, they get put in solitary. So we'll plant those there. Yeah, this looks good. Now if I'm really smart, I'm gonna make it so that it actually 
runs through, which is nice. Now, <coughs> I don't want them that long. I mean, I just want them two. So this would be. Da, da, da. I'm not making sense. I'm sorry. I just love drawing in this game. It's so much fun. It's so easy to plan out your stuff. All your stuff. It's so easy. So, and this all make a fence. Oh, is that correct? Yeah. For now, I'll just put a fence here. It doesn't cost me anything except manpower, which I got plenty of at the moment. And we're gonna make a brick wall. And I want it a bit free. So I'm gonna put some sand. And the same goes for the shower because it will be outside the shower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the foundation to this room. I slipped. If you just right click, you cancel it. Problem is, at this time you don't get your money back. They're gonna work on that in the bug fixes. And this one needs a staff door. Oops, that was not the intention. So let's get our shower built. And also very handy about a fence, you can just go over it with another material and they'll change it. So yeah, those fences are like top notch. Now for a room we only need a shower head. But if you add some drains... Place some concrete tiles underneath because I like the look of that. It will uh, take care of the water quicker, they say. Now, as you can see, it has these nice uh, big pipes going, but the shower heads will go on the walls. So I need to add some pipes for just those shower heads. And then we just place the head. Now I don't want them fighting over room. So I'm just gonna place a lot of shower heads. And they really don't cost that much. And your prison is full pretty pretty soon. So in order to complete our basic detention center grant we need to hire two guards and two chefs, and then we got it. So let's do cook, cook, and guards. Now, as you can see, they're all still walking over this dirt and going slow and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna make these concrete. And that will make them uh, speed up. Now they do cost a bit. But it's really worth it. We need our yard. Uh, 
and it needs to be secure and the reason it's not secure because I didn't put any doors in the beginning of my prison so let's start with that a double jail door there a double jail door there I'll, once I can deploy guards I'll put a guard in between and metal detectors after the first door Oh, and something I forgot about this canteen. In order for them not to uh, start uh, killing each other with the cutlery, I need to install some metal detectors. So I'll do that on all the exits. And again, this costs a lot. But it's totally worth it. Now, as you can see in this yard, some other uh, items are highlighted, like a phone booth. This is very important. They contact their family by calling them, and it will satisfy one of their needs. So, I'm adding a couple of phone booths. And they also want exercise, so we'll, we'll just add a couple of benches. And they got some trees and we'll make it a bit more pretty. But we need more money for that. So, yay, we got our first ground finished. We did it. So now I can get rid of this cell, this holding cell room. And I'm gonna say I want to make this a staff room. Now a staff room is something you need from quite in the beginning. And the reason for that is they get tired, your stuff, from building and stuff like that. And they need to rest. And another thing I'm seeing is that my power is nearly done. Nearly full. And when it's full, it will shut down. So I'm gonna add some more power. Yay! We're so far! I'm, I'm nowhere near having prisoners. Dang it! Let's quickly set up uh, some more offices. And we need to hire our accountant. Where is she? Here she is to get a better overview on our financial situation. As you can see, we now got a finance report. So we can see what we're spending, what we're gaining, and we're doing okay at this time. As you can see, we also opened up other tabs. Valuation of your prison. But it's not worth a lot because we didn't do much yet. Programs. But we still have to research in order to use those. I can use other grants, open them or uh, click on them and then I uh, do them. And this is very important. This is our regime. I'm gonna pause the game for a minute because we're not doing anything. So this is where you say what your prisoners do for the entire day. So I want to have this settled before I bring them in. Now what I like is 4 a.m. wake up time. After that, you go to shower, you can go to the toilet or read a book or just yawn or whatever. Then they eat. After eating they get some free time and then it's work time. After work they're gonna go to the yard, they're gonna eat and they're gonna have some free time. After free time, I want them working. They'll get some free time and they got some free time here as well. And so I got only oh, oh, I got only four hours of sleep planned, but they'll use these three hours because they'll be exhausted from all the work. So they'll use these three hours to sleep most of the time. So we got that all settled. 
We got nowhere to put our prisoners. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna do that in the next episode because this was way past the half hour that I wanted to show you guys. So I hope you kind of like me rambling about prison architects. Um, I promise I'll bring in prisoners next time. And I hope to see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.